Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, four triangles uh, fully confined uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, 36 uh, centimeter square. The area of this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, is uh, 32 centimeter square and moreover this uh, segment uh, A, M equals to this segment uh, MB. In other words, uh, M is the midpoint. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle and this uh, green uh, triangle as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, review. And here's our very first uh, review on uh, the rectangle. All uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees. Opposite uh, side uh, lengths uh, are uh, equal uh, and uh, parallel. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. As you can see, this uh, longest leg is our length and its uh, smallest uh, leg is our width. And if we draw this uh, diagonal, then the area of this uh, rectangle uh, has been divided into two equal parts, uh, this area and uh, this uh, area. If this area is uh, 10, then this area is going to be 10 as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula, area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. So no wonder the area of this uh, triangle is going to be half of the area of this uh, rectangle as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, red triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, blue triangle. Since both of uh, these uh, triangles have the same base and both of these triangles have uh, same height as well. And here's our next uh, concept. Let's focus on these uh, two triangles, the red triangle and the blue triangle. And both of these uh, triangles have the same height. However, the base uh, of this uh, red uh, triangle is uh, X, whereas the base for this uh, blue triangle is uh, Y. So therefore, we can call that the triangles with the same height uh, will have areas whose ratio is same as the ratio of their bases. As you can see over here, the ratio of the red triangle area and the blue triangle area is going to be equal to the ratio of their bases uh, x uh, and y. Let's assume the area of this uh, red triangle is uh, 50 and the area of this uh, blue triangle is 30. Then their uh, bases uh, ratio is uh, going to be 5 to 3 as you can see. And now let's reward our attention back to our this given uh, problem. And here's our very first step. I have connected uh, these points uh, B and uh, D. In other words, uh, this uh, BD is our diagonal. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this uh, yellow triangle and this uh, other triangle uh, MBD. And we can see both of uh, these triangles uh, have the same uh, basis and their uh, height uh, is uh, same as well. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, MBD is going to be the equal to the area of this uh, yellow triangle. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, MBD is going to be 36 uh, centimeters square as well, as you can see over here. So therefore, the area of uh, this uh, triangle uh, ABD is going to be 36 uh, plus 36 is going to give us uh, 72 centimeter square as you can see over here. And if the area of this part is 72, then the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BCD is going to be 72 centimeter square as well. So therefore, the area of this uh, whole uh, rectangle uh, ABCD is going to be equal to 72 plus 72 is going to give us uh, 144 centimeter square. And finally, let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, BCD. Its uh, area is uh, 72, but we know that this uh, pink uh, triangle area is uh, 32. So therefore, uh, the area for this uh, triangle uh, BED is going to be 72 minus 32 is going to give us uh, 
40 centimeter square. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, BED turns out to be 40 centimeter square. And now let's recall once again this uh, crucial uh, fact. The triangles with the same height uh, will have the areas whose ratio is same as the ratio of their uh, bases, as you can see over here. So therefore, let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this triangle and uh, this uh, triangle. Both of these triangle have the same height. So therefore, the ratio of uh, their areas is going to be 40 divided by 32 is going to give us uh, 5 and 4. So therefore, the ratio of their bases is going to be 5 to 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, ECD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And here for this uh, pink uh, triangle, this is uh, our uh, height, which is 4. And let me call this uh, base of this pink triangle as uh, lowercase b. And the area of this uh, pink triangle is 32. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this uh, triangle is 32 equals to a half uh, times uh, base b times height uh, is uh, 4. So therefore, we can get uh, 32 equals to 2 times uh, b. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate b. So therefore, b value turns out to be 16. So therefore, our this uh, base b, which is uh, cd, is going to be 16. If this side length uh, cd is uh, 16, then this uh, opposite uh, side length uh, ab is going to be 16 as well. Since M is the midpoint, uh, so therefore this uh, MB length is going to be half of 16. So that means this is going to be 8. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, MBE, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 5 and 8. And now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And here its uh, base is 8 and height uh, is uh, 5. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle that is going to be equal to a half uh, times uh, 8 uh, times uh, 5. And if we simplify everything, uh, the area of this uh, blue triangle MBE turns out to be 20 centimeter square. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue triangle turns out to be 20 centimeter square. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate now the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, rectangle minus uh, the combined area of these uh, yellow, pink uh, and uh, blue triangles. And now we can see this uh, rectangle uh, area is uh, 144. So I'm going to replace over here by 144 and the combined area for these yellow pink and blue triangles is going to be 36 plus 20 plus 32 if we add these ones 88 so their combined area is going to be 88 so therefore the green triangle med area is going to be 144 minus 88 uh, that is going to give us uh, 56 uh, centimeter square. So thus the blue triangle area turns out to be 20 centimeter square and the green uh, triangle area is uh, 56 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.